Front of stairs on this motherfucker. No, why you do that shit? Do that shit. Yo, this is Noah Cuz. I'm back on the Split Mind channel. Today, I'm gonna break down this dark vintage analog sounding sample that I made. This is what the sample sounds like. know who I hear the sample on. It kind of sounds like something that Travis will get on. Kind of sounds like something that Baby Keem will get on. Kind of sounds like something that Southside will make a beat too. Kind of sounds like a sample that Cute Beats would make. I don't know. It just sounds like a lot of people, but I'm going to break this down for you. Obviously, I use my guitar in this, but all of the other sounds are in my anti-phase analog lab bank. You can get it from the first link in the description. I used analog synth sounds in this and my real guitar to get that vintage feel. For the mixing part, I'm going to explain each plugin that I used and why I used it so you guys can get a feel for what I'm processing when I'm doing my mixing. I made this sample at 127 BPM. The the first sound I used is this continuum preset from my analog lab bank. This is what it sounds like. So this is really just an F minor chord. It has the root and then the fifth, and then I stacked it with an octave of the root and then the sixth. If you play the fifth and the sixth together, they're just a half step apart, so it gives it that dark feel. So for effects, I added this portal just to give it some granular synthesis and give it a little bit of texture. I brought the mix like way down to like around 8% because I didn't want it to be too loud. Next, I went to Fab Filter Pro Q3. I went to these presets and then I hit band pass narrow. I clicked this band and then I dragged up until I found the frequencies that I wanted to let pass through. Cutting out the highs and the lows of your melody is a good way to get that vintage sound fast. As you can see, I just cut more lows out on this channel EQ down here. On this pad, I also made the stereo separation more mono. On this next sound, I used this nano scale preset from my bank. It's a keys preset, but I used it like an art. So this is the MIDI I made for it. Once again, I'm just playing this F minor chord, but this time I have the minor third in there. You can see this ARP up here is also an F minor chord. I just inverted the sixth down an octave, and then I have it descending down the scale. This is another inversion. In bars five to eight, I duplicated over the pattern and then just pitched it up an octave. This is what the ARP sounds like. So for effects on this, I have quite a few. First, I added this Crystallizer, which is another granular plugin. It's from Sound Toys. And I just added this reverse guitar solo MIDI preset. Next, I added a portal. Once again, just giving it some granular synthesis into this bandpass narrow EQ, cutting out the lows and the highs. Basically, I just brought the decay up to make it long. I brought the width more mono, and then I just changed the mix right here. After that, I added this sketch cassette preset called a bit of color. Next, I added Soothe 2 just to tame some of the resonance because it sounded a little bit too harsh around these frequencies. I've explained Soothe 2 in my other tutorials. Make sure you go watch those if you want me to explain it more. But just know this plugin's a lifesaver. Super fire. And then finally, I just have this shaper box panning it left and right on an eight bar loop. And I brought the mix down to 46%. And I also took the lows out of this channel EQ. The stereo separation is a little bit more stereo on that track. The third sound that I used is this retrieval hard bass preset from my analog lab bank. This is what it sounds like. And I just have that hitting on the five as well. I have this EQ cutting out at around 20 hertz, boosting at 60, and then I boosted some mids as well. And I kind of copied that EQ on this channel EQ down here. Stereo separation on this one is more mono. So next I added this guitar. The original guitar takes are up here. And then once I time stretched them and got them sounding how I wanted, this is the final product down here. So I'm just going to play what it sounds like. All right, so I kept this guitar really simple. I really just arpeggiated an F minor chord, and then I added these little filler notes every now and again, just kind of going down the scale. This is what the first guitar part sounds like.
In the next part, I pitch that up an octave. Next, I added these counter melodies. You can see with these, I layered one low and then one high. And then I just added these really simple guitar textures, just me hitting my guitar and hitting random notes. This was really just to make it sound more imperfect, kind of sounded cool. So yeah, effects on the guitar, a band pass narrow EQ into the spring reverb. And then I have this Minta Foundry slap delay preset in Echo Boy Jr. This is just giving it a slap delay. They used to use slap delays all the time in old songs. So this will give you that vintage sound. And also it kind of makes it sound more stereo. So it's super fire. On this channel EQ, I boosted the mids just a little bit and then cut the lows. I have basically the same effects on the counter melody. I just took off the slap delay and then the channel EQ. The last sound I added is this texture from Dude Clay's Lovecraft kit. And this is what it sounds like. For the effects, I just boosted the highs a little bit in the channel EQ. On the crystallizer, I automated the mix. So on the first part of the ARP, this crystallizer is going crazy. And on the second part, you can see I brought the mix down like a lot. So that way it's just kind of in the background. And then in like the last half beat, I cut it out completely. I just have the repeating for each four bars. So once I had all of those sounds laid out, I bounced them out into individual audio clips and then started structuring them out here. So basically I have everything playing for the first 16 bars because keep in mind, I have the low octave guitar and then the high octave guitar. In the next part, I took out the ARP. Next, I duplicated what I had before, but I took out the bass. After that, I just stemmed out the entire loop. So for the bass, I chopped it after the first bar for each hit, just because I didn't feel like it needed to go for two bars. Next, you can see I chopped the synth right here and then all of these other parts at each bar. And if you zoom in, you can see I took them, I held Alt or Option on a Mac, and then I just dragged this back. This gives it that sampled chopping sound but i made sure not to put them all at the same length just to make it sound more random and more humanized i did that for each of these and then this arp had this weird glitch at the beginning because of portal so i just cut that out and then i cut out these sections of the arp as well so next you can see that i put each of these rendered out audio clips onto their own mixer channels and this was just to allow me to adjust levels a little bit before going into the master effects but i really just brought the arp down like negative 0.4 db like i really didn't touch it at all i highlighted all of these right clicked on an empty mixer channel and then hit route to this track only make sure you don't do just route to this track make sure you do route to this track only to make sure that they're not still going to the master channel as well so for master effects on this i added this default sketch cassette i brought the age down a little bit the saturation up i think i changed this wow and this flutter and then i messed with these bright and amount settings just make sure you hit the on switch next i used this wave sound shifter and i just brought it down one semitone after that i added this eq I boosted the highs, I boosted the mids, I boosted the lower mids, and then I made everything below 144 hertz mono, and then I brought up the stereo separation a little bit on everything else. Next, I added Soothe 2 once again because that ARP was going crazy. I needed to tame the resonance even more on that once I added these saturation plugins. And then finally, I added this T-Rack soft clipper on this plus 6 dB soft clip preset, and I think I changed these settings. Just one to make it louder, and two to make sure that it doesn't clip over 0 dB. So yeah, you can hear the sample sounds super dark, super vintage. I hope you picked up a couple analog analog mixing tips from this. Like I said earlier, if you want these sounds, make sure you go get them from my anti-phase analog lab bank, first link in the description. Also go follow me on Instagram, I'm trying to run it up on there. Don't forget to subscribe to the Split My channel, drop a comment what you want to see next, and yeah, I'm out. Peace.